Now we'll do some algebra review on fractions, operations with fractions. And I'll go over here briefly the main ideas behind mathematical operations with fractions. And specifically, we'll be doing addition and subtraction and multiplication and division with fractions. And then I'll work through the example problems. So first of all, addition and subtraction of fractions. Let's look at a simple example. 1 half plus 2 thirds. If I want to add these, this is what I cannot do. Don't do this. Don't say 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 and 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, so I have 3 fifths. That is not correct. And here's why. You can only add these fractions if you have a common denominator. And right here I don't. I have a 2 and a 3, two different denominators. I need the same denominator. And here's why we have to have common denominators. Remember back in very early algebra, or even pre-algebra, when you did, did things like this. 2x plus 4x, and that equals 6x. This is conceptually the same as saying two apples plus four apples equals six apples. And clearly, if you have two apples and you get four more apples, then you end up with six apples. That's what we're saying when we say two x plus 4x equals 6x. Well, you could do the same thing like this. You could say 2 thirds plus 4 thirds equals 6 thirds. Just like we can add the variables, or we can add the things, we can add the thirds. In this case, we're adding x's. In this case, we're adding apples. And in this case, we're adding thirds. And you realize that we can combine these x's, the 2x's and the 4x's, because they are like terms. Just like we can combine the 2 apples and the 4 apples, because they are both the same kind of thing. They're both apples. And here we can combine these fractions because they are like fractions. They're the same kind of thing. They're both thirds. So having the common denominator means that they are, in a sense, like terms. Just like combining the same type of thing or like terms, terms with the same variable part. So that's the reason why we have to have a common, denom common denominator. So now back to this problem, how do we get a common denominator? Well, we can multiply any fraction by the same thing on the top and the bottom. So if I take this 1 half and I multiply it by a 3 over 3, then it's going to become 3 over 6. Remember, when we're multiplying two fractions, and that's what I'm doing right here, I do my 3 times 1, that gives me a 3, and a 3 times a 2, that gives me a 6. So when I'm multiplying fractions, I simply multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. This fraction, 3 6, 3 over 6, is equivalent to my original fraction, 1 over 2. Now I need to do a similar thing to this fraction here, the 2 thirds. I'm going to multiply it by 2 over 2. And then when I multiply, I have 2 times 2 is 4, and 3 times 2 is 6. So this fraction is 4 over 6. So instead of having 1 half plus 2 thirds, I now have 3 sixths plus 4 sixths, and that equals 7 sixths. Once I have a common denominator, then I can simply combine the numerators. 3 plus 4 gives me a 7. Just like 3 apples plus 4 apples would give me 7 apples, here 3 sixths plus 4 sixths gives me 7 sixths.